What's going on you gamers, today we're going to be diving into Remnant 2 and I'll be letting you know how you can unlock one of the coolest archetype classes in it and that's going to be the summoner class. So if you want to know how to unlock this secret class then stay tuned, that's coming up next. Welcome back everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at Remnant 2 and there's an absolute abundance going on in this game. So it's really good to know some of the things you can get that are a little bit hidden. And one of these is definitely going to be this archetype, the Summoner class. Pretty much like its namesake, if you like summoning minions and doing a lot of damage from afar, then this may well be the class or subclass for you. But how exactly do you unlock it? So the first thing you're going to need to do will be to head over to the biome of Yaisha and then you're going to have to have found a certain thing within it that will allow you to buy a special item. The thing you're going to be looking for will be this right here. For me it spawned in the root nexus area but it can be different for everyone's playthrough. So just keep a lookout for a blue marker as you're progressing through Yaisha because you're going to be wanting to look out for this Blood Moon Altar where you'll be able to buy a selection of special items. Make your way to it and some of the items you can buy are absolutely amazing. However there's one that I would say is above all of the rest and that's going to be this right here, the Faded Grimoire. Purchasing this is going to be the key to unlocking your summoner class. However it's far from easy and if you don't know how to obtain one of the vital resources, the Blood Moon Essence, then you may find yourself at a bit of an impasse because it is going to cost you 15 of those as well as 5 Luminite Crystal and 1500 Scrap. Now I travelled around Yasha and tried to get hold of this Blood Moon Essence and had absolutely no joy. I even looked on the internet and it basically said it was a bit of a hit and miss thing. After a lot of trial and error, I found that there was one way that worked best for myself to grab this resource. So the key to it was going to be playing through Asia, but there had to be a blood moon on. Basically the areas are slightly more red, there can be a slight glowing red mist as well, and in the sky you may well be able to see a blood red moon in certain instances. This doesn't happen all the time, so you will have to wait for it to be in your game. And sometimes you may not even realise it's on. The best way to know that it's definitely at the right time, I found to go to the Forbidden Grove and as you're making your way through, you're going to want to speak to the first NPC that you come across right at the start of the instance. Every time there's a Blood Moon, he's going to be a little bit worse for wear, looking very red and he's actually going to tell you that the Blood Moon is in full effect. That's when you know it's the perfect time and you'll be able to go out and hunt for these Blood Essence. The way you're going to do that, you're going to walk just forward a little bit from this instance and you're going to be on the hunt for Blood Wisps. These are going to be slightly red, pinky glowing wisps that you could quite easily miss if you didn't know what you were looking for. Most of the time, they're very much off in the distance. So keep your eyes peeled and whenever you see them, make sure you take your shots. Probably a little bit better accuracy than me would work out for the best, so make sure you've got a nice gun equipped that's got a bit of range to it. I found that there was always three very close to the start within this instance, taking them out and then going into your inventory, activating your liquid essence so that you completely fall over and go back to your starting area, allowed you to jump straight back through the crystal, come straight back to the forbidden grove, and then this reset it and I was able to farm these three, these three wisps over and over again. For me this was definitely the easiest as before this I found it very hit and miss to gather these up. If you're struggling to find these because the blood moon's not up, for me in game it happened after around about an hour of it not being on within this instance, so I don't know if it's one hour on, one hour off. However I have heard that if you travel to another part of Yasha and then travel back to here it can reset it so you could try to do that over and over again until you get the blood moon in effect. For me it seemed a little bit more on a timer base though and like I said I was able to reset the wisps but not the actual blood moon every time I travelled back to Ward 13 and then went back to the Forbidden Grove. Once you've collected enough of these and you've got all the resources you need you're going to head straight back to Ward 13 once more and you're going to travel to this part of the map just up the slope where you can speak to Wallace. From here you'll then be able to nice and easy unlock the summoner archetype. Then whenever you need to activate it, the same as any of your unlocked, you're just going to go into your menu, go up to the top, click where your archetype is and you can toggle between any of them, which is a great feature in Remnant 2 as you can switch back and forth whenever you want, however you will need to level them all up individually. The summoner class is actually one of the coolest classes in the game, has a lot going for it and if you love minion builds this is probably going to be the one for you. 
But yeah, let me know in the comments. How are you finding Remnant 2? What classes are you really enjoying? There'll be a lot more on this game from me as I find some of the secrets, as I'm really enjoying it so far. But as always, for all things gaming, take care. I'll see you on next day.